Hi guys, uh, today we're going to be doing a video on how to remove the linkage from the latest generation DV8 frames. Uh, first of all, to do this, you'll need to remove the shock. There'll be another video that you can check out on the website about that uh, as well. And you'll need to remove the rear wheel. We have the bike upside down purely for this video. You will be able to do this on a work stand as well. So once you've got your cranks, your shock and your wheel removed, that leads us to getting this bit all ready to go. For this job, you will need a six millimeter Allen key, a rubber mallet, preferably the DVA BB axle remover tool, but you can also use a 38 millimeter drift as well. So you've got your cranks removed, everything else removed, prepped and ready to go. The first stage is to use your six mil to remove the two bolts on either side of the swing arm to allow it to drop down out the way. So we can get that done. Might be stiff when you're removing it for the first time just due to the Loctite and it's torquage. So might have to break the seal a bit. Okay, so when we've got them loose, you can just bring them out nice and carefully by hand. Pop them out, just keeping a hold of the rear swing arm if you are working upside down. And that will allow it to drop away. Leaving us here. You have the linkage out of the way, shocks off, it is now free to move. At this point, you want to take your DV8 remover tool and your rubber mallet. Taking, it will sit just nicely into the frame. And if you hold, brace it up against and then give it a firm tap. This should allow it to free off and it will start coming out the other side. Make sure you keep your hand on it so the linkage doesn't drop out. You've got your BB axle out of the way, nice firm pull, and the linkage will be removed from the frame. Okay guys, so when you're going to reinstall the linkage, it's basically just the reverse of what we've just been through. Uh, so you'd want to, if you're finished refurbing or installing your new longer, shorter linkage, need to pop it in here. Sometimes it can be quite tight if you put new seals in, so you might just need to work it a wee bit to get it to sit nice. Line it up best you can. Now, if you've got new rubber rings especially put in there, you'll need to make sure they're very heavily greased to get it nice to slide through. And one thing which is extremely important when we're doing this is that on your BB axle, you will have two sets of flats and there'll be two sets of flats that correspond inside the frame. These need to line up, otherwise the axle will not push through. So, it can be tri tricky to find sometimes. The best you can, you want to line it in. You should be able to push it up to about the flats. Then, once we're happy that we've got it lined up, you get your rubber mallet Brace the frame, just give it a nice tap gently in until it sits flush with the frame. So you've seen we've got it sitting nice and flush. Then what we need to do is reinstall the swing arm bolts. Thing to note, uh, preferably if you can, using the correct torque and a little bit of blue Loctite in the threads will keep that together nicely. Line it back up. Sometimes it can just fight against the rubber rings again, so you might just need to give it a wee twist to get it through. Just make sure it catches the thread evenly. Then using your six mil, tighten that up. Just 
So we're tightening that up there. Now, preferably, if you do have your own torque wrench, you need 20 newton meters, both sides, till it clicks. But once you've done that, that is you successfully swapped out or changed your linkage.